Welcome friends. Today in the studio I'm going to make a pretty simple lunchtime pasta dish um, that I really enjoy and that is uh, orchetti. Pretty sure I'm saying that wrong um, but sort of little ear pasta with a sausage white wine sauce. Um, and it comes together really quickly. Pretty much in the time that it takes the water to come to a boil and the pasta to cook you can have everything else measured out and cooked. So in this pan I put a little bit of olive oil just to get the sausage started. So this is one of our homemade Italian sausages. Um, I've taken the casing off and I'm just going to put that in and brown it um, and break it up as it starts to brown. While that's going, I'm going to grate some hard Italian cheese, uh, an aged cheese. I use pretty much whatever I've got open in the fridge, um, whether that's parm or pecorino. And I like to grate it myself rather than use one of those shaker cans. Um, the flavor is just so much better. And it really isn't that much more expensive when you figure it out. Okay, so the water is boiling. In goes the pasta. And give it a stir just so that it doesn't clump together. Bubbling away. So our sausage is cooked through at this point and pretty brown. So I'm going to add in some red pepper flakes um, to taste. Make it as hot or not hot as you like. And we'll just sort of stir that in to get them cooking. And white wine. Uh, white wine of your choice. And I'll just bring that up to a boil to burn off that alcohol flavor. You want the wine flavor but not the alcohol flavor. Now I'm going to throw in some frozen peas um, and you could put in pretty much any vegetable you want. Um, you could put in sort of broccoli. You could steam off a little bit of broccoli and put that in. Uh, asparagus tips, you could put that in. Kale, spinach, um, whatever you want. I mean I've done this with butternut squash. Little bits of roasted butternut squash that were left over from a dinner a couple nights before. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, so really, anything you want to put in as your vegetable. And if you don't want to put a vegetable in, don't put a vegetable in. I mean, it's going to be your pasta, so do what you please. That's going to come up to temperature, and we'll check the pasta. Uh, not even close yet. Okay. Doing good. Okay. So we are minutes away from the pasta being done. So I'm going to finish this sauce with a little bit of cold butter. You put the butter in and you stir it furiously and that will give your sauce a really nice silky feel uh, and flavor that's just unbelievable. So we stir that in. Pasta is done so I'm going to turn that off and we pull it over and we just transfer the pasta out of the pot directly into the pan with the sauce and you want to bring the pasta water with it. That pasta water is going to help thicken the sauce and make it really sort of rich and luscious. Okay, toss this all together and we drop in the cheese. And just stir it till it's melted. Looks great. Now before I serve it, of course, Give it a taste. Make sure that the uh, the spicing is right. Yeah. Um, for me, maybe just a little bit more hot pepper. Just a little bit. Bring that flavor up. Now, there are a whole bunch of things that you can do to change this. Um, Certainly a little bit of white wine vinegar would be fantastic in this. Uh, brighten that flavor just a little bit. A uh, squeeze of lemon, if you've got a lemon, just squeeze a little lemon juice in there. It'll do the same thing. That acid will just brighten everything up. At this point, if you wanted to, you put like a quarter cup of heavy cream in here and mix that in and that'll just sort of bring even more unctuousness to the dish. But I didn't do any of those things because, you know, it's lunchtime in the studio. I needed something quick and fast, and I just wanted to use what I had on hand. I really like this. Um, 
I'd say this is head and head with uh, macaroni and cheese. Mm. Thanks for stopping by. See you again soon.